I should be laying in bed right now, but I have not been to my local thrift stores in probably two weeks, and I just know they have great stuff waiting for me, so come thrifting with me. Okay, so these were the first things to catch my eye at the first store, but unfortunately, someone has a set of these listed for 16, and these are $2 a piece, and that's just not enough of a profit for me to purchase these, especially because that other set is still listed on eBay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. So usually I start in the opposite direction at this store. I start with the shoes first, but there were a lot of people in the shoe area. So I decided to go this way first to all of the kitchen items and it's kind of throwing me off. So make sure you stick around for the entire video. I stop at six stores. One of them was not open. So I do end up buying items from five thrift stores. And these are my usual stores in my rotation that are in my local area. So this is what a normal day of thrifting looks like for me. And I actually find about the same amount of items that I usually do. Now, some days I have like home runs where I'm finding all kinds of stuff and then other days it's not as good, but I'd say this is an average day of thrifting for me. I have coffee pots coming out of my ears right now. I have so many that I need to list, but thankfully they are all tested. I just need to get them pictured and listed. So this one caught my eye just because of the different shape and it's not brand new in the box it's not used but i would sell this as open box not as a brand new item and i went ahead and looked this up and it is selling for some decent money and this one was only priced at 5.99 now i always double check to make sure that whatever is supposed to be in the box is actually in the box a lot of people will buy a new coffee pot or new dishes and then put their old stuff in the box and donate it If you find the right hair tool, they can sell for some really good money, but unfortunately they're a little bit harder to find. I'm always digging through hair tools and I might buy two a month that sell for more than $25, $30. And then I do end up picking up, I have no idea what this is. It's a clip-on tuner. I don't know, maybe it's for a guitar, but it does sell for around $18. So I went ahead and picked this up. It was $2.99. The sell-through rate was pretty good. So I figure it won't be a lot of money, but it will be quick money. That's the great thing about selling on eBay is you really don't have to know what you have. You just have to know whether or not it's going to sell and you can make some money selling it on eBay. Now I did look up all of these phones and four of them sold for $62 in Canada, but that was the only like really good sold I could find on these. So I went ahead and left them behind. The sell through rate was really slow. And then I looked this up a couple weeks ago at a different store and I know that does not sell. Now I did scan this item and there was one sold for 60, but once I opened this up, I realized that this is exactly why I checked boxes. Somebody had replaced their drive and then put the old ones in the box for their new one and donated their old ones. So I left this one behind. And now we're to my favorite area. This is why I usually start with the shoes because all of these products aren't too far from the shoes. So some of this stuff comes straight from Target and then other items come from donations and usually that's what I'm looking for. The stuff that comes from Target usually is not going to have too much of a resale value. So I'm usually looking for items that people have donated So these are the first two items that I'm going to look up. Both of these are new, and I'm not too sure if these are current or if these are a discontinued item. And then I didn't show you guys, but I did pick up this Melissa and Doug USA license plate game. So I'm paying $2.99 for it, and it'll probably sell for around $16, but it'll be a quick flip. And then my grandpa wanted me to find him some binoculars, and I checked these out, and they just aren't in the best condition. I cannot get them to focus, so I did not pick these up for him. So I'm still on the hunt for some binoculars. I'm always looking for discontinued Bath and Body Works and then products that if I don't recognize the name, I will scan them or Google image them really quick to see if they're worth anything.
And I do put this item in my cart to look up as well. I don't think I show you guys when I grab it. I kind of push it to the side there. And then I do look up this item as well. Basically, I look up any hair products, any cleaning products, anything like that that I find just because these are items that are usually overlooked and some of them can be worth some really good money. Okay, so I just looked up all of those items and then I noticed this sitting on the shelf and it's dated $19.99. They only want $5.99 for it. I do look it up, but it ends up only selling for around $10. So I put that back. So out of all of that stuff, this is what I ended up picking up. That cookbook is actually for me. There was a recipe in there that looked really good, something that I could make for my grandpa that he could throw in the freezer. But this is a really good item. I'm thinking I can get a little bit more than 30 for that. And then those two right guards, I'm gonna list those for 20 or best offer. So out of all of this stuff, that is all that I ended up picking up. Usually, looking through items like that take a lot of time i was in this store for about an hour and then i noticed all of these small cross stitch kits and i do look some of these up some of these can be worth big money but unfortunately none of these were worth anything so i left all of these behind so on to the next door which is volunteers of america and i love that they always have three discounted colors for the week and I absolutely love their shopping carts, which sounds super weird, but they're like Target status shopping carts. I am horrible about checking the showcases at thrift stores. I always just assume that everything is going to be overpriced. So I knew when I walked in today that the first thing I was gonna check out was going to be the showcases. So I noticed when I was thrifting out of state that a lot of thrift stores will put lotions and perfumes, that type of thing, in these showcases. So I'm trying to be better about looking at them since I do like to sell those types of things. And then right here, I noticed there's a juicy perfume and some body sprays. So I do ask them to show me one of them because I can't see the name, but it was an item that wasn't worth anything. Um, I believe it was Bath and Body Works on the beach or something like that, but either way, it wasn't worth anything. So this is my favorite aisle at this store. So this is where I start out. So what I do is whenever I find an item and I'm unsure if I want to buy it or not, I will still put it in my cart and then look it up once I've looked through everything in that specific aisle. And then if it's something that isn't going to resell, I will go ahead and just put it I'll back put before I leave that aisle. I did up. end up putting those hot rollers back. They only sell for about $16 and they had a very low sell through rate. And I actually missed two items the first time right here when I'm looking through things, but I do go back and grab them. I always double check aisles before I walk away, especially when they're this packed full of items. This CND is just a top coat and it was only selling for around $12. So I went ahead and put that back since I'd pay around $3 for it. The sell through rate on that was very low as well. And I needed to look this up as well. I wasn't sure if this would sell. I've sold vintage pads from like 1993 before in the past for around $35 a pack. But I also bought a vintage box of tampons that day and those sat for almost two years before they sold. So orange was the 25% off color. So. I was gonna go ahead and look this up, which I did, and this is for some type of like tree harness, I'm gonna assume for a hunter. So those are only selling for about $16 and with a very, very slow sell through rate. So I did not pick that item up. But for whatever reason, I did purchase this item. This also has a very slow sell through rate. But I could not find one that is exactly like this listed. I could find single bars of soap that were selling for around 20 to 25. 
So this is a three pack and it's brand new. I paid $8.08 .08, I believe. So I went ahead and picked this up. I did end up purchasing this after looking it up. I also put back this curling iron, the red one. It ended up being like a $20 curling iron and I believe they wanted almost $5 for it. So there wasn't very much of a profit on that. So I went ahead and put that back as well. Okay guys, I just came to put something back and I missed this and I missed this. So this is 75% off. See, blue tag, 75% off. Ugh. That's a red tag. And then I got two yellow. I sell a lot of coffee pots every year, so that's why I'm always looking out for them. So I know these little tiny ones, they sell really well. I've never looked up one of these Mr. Coffees, and I've never sold one of these before, but I do end up looking it up, and they're selling for $20. That's like the going rate, no matter what color they are. And I almost decide to buy this one, but I'll show you guys why I put it back. So honestly, I feel like if this item was a little bit cleaner, I would have picked it up and listed it for 25 instead of 20 because there weren't too many of them currently listed, but it's just a little too crusty for me and I hate cleaning stuff. So I'm putting this back. I'm not going to get it. The 2023 me would have picked that up and it would have sat in my death pile for months and months and months but I'm trying not to do that this year. So the music is like deafening in this part of the store, but this is another one of my little favorite areas with all these little kitchen items. And I do end up picking up this filter right here. It's a 75% off color. And when I scanned it, it looks like it's selling pretty good. So this is definitely a good buy. So these items are not my favorite to sell, but honestly guys, I will sell anything that will make me some money other than clothing. So I did pick up these two Eddie Bauer mugs. Just the weird shape made me look them up and it, I think I can get around $40 for both of these. Usually mugs are 99 cents, but of course these are a little bit cooler than the average mug. So they priced these at $4.04 a piece. But $8 into 40-ish. I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. Now I did look up this Orange County Choppers mug and just to give you guys a little hint, if you think you find a good one of these, you probably didn't. When I typed in Orange County Chopper mug, only two have sold in 90 days. And then this item caught my eye, but unfortunately it's priced at $9.09 and the last one sold for 30. Okay, now we are in the linen section which is, of course, another one of my favorite items to resell. So I'm looking for Ralph Lauren, Cross Sill, Waverly, anything like that, Pottery Barn. Those are the major brands that I resell. Now, Monster High Anything is definitely worth looking up. And I tried to find a tag on this, but I couldn't. But this is a licensed Monster High item. When I looked this up, there was only one sold and it was for $46. But there were like 50 something of these listed. So I just, I left this behind. I do not want to hold on to items. I'm looking for items with a higher sell-through rate for the most part. Some items I will buy with a lower sell-through rate if I think that they could possibly sell a little bit faster. And there were some wannabe Waverly and Ralph Lauren pieces there and I did not check those out. Okay, so those first two stores that I stopped at, those are always like where I find the most stuff. And then the next three are kind of iffy for me. I might go to one, uh, it's cash only, so I might run to the ATM after this and then go check that place out. They're not open very often and it's really small. Um, but it's for a good cause and sometimes I can find some good items there. So we're gonna run into Salvation Army and then possibly go the other side of town. And I forgot to add, today is Wednesday and it's senior and military discount day. So today is always, I don't know why I pick Wednesdays to go thrifting, it's always so busy. Um, and I hate thrifting when it's busy. So I just need to add on my calendar not to go thrifting on Wednesdays. 
So this bad boy was only priced at $7.99 and I went ahead and picked it up. I was on the fence for a minute, but it has this really cool lid. I've never seen that lid before. And uh, it's a nice casserole dish in really good condition. It's not stained, so definitely gonna pick this up. And then here are some items I picked up before I started recording. These are some Corningware handles and I'm gonna pay 99 cents for each of those. That's the only reason I'm picking those up. And then I had to get on Terapeak to find out some information on these. Um, they're priced at $3.99. I'm gonna pick them up. I'm gonna list them for somewhere around $60 to $70. And yellow is the half off color. This caught my eye because it had a yellow tag, but I pulled it out and noticed those dents and then opened it up and she's pretty gross. So definitely leaving that behind. This Salvation Army store used to be my store. I used to always find items here. The shelves were always packed. And for whatever reason, their shelves are way more bare now than what they used to be. So this store is really, really hit or miss for me. Back in the day when I used to sell clothing, this was a really great store. Their prices were always super cheap. Now, this Pyrex pan, I was so on the fence with this. I ended up putting it back a little bit later. I didn't know if it was Pyrex or not. I knew the handle was Pyrex, but the actual um, Pyrex stamp on the bottom was really hard to see. And if this would have had the lid, I probably would have picked it up. It was only $2.99, but I was thinking that it would sell for somewhere around $22 after doing some research. But... This seems like an item that I would have held on to for quite a while after looking through how many are sold and how many were listed. So I noticed all these lids down here and my back is really messed up today, you guys. I really did not want to bend down and grab this lid or any of these lids, but they had quite a few Pyrex lids in there. So I was just checking them out to see if I thought that any of these would fit my um, pan, but unfortunately they don't. So this one right here, I think it's going to fit and it goes on. And at first I have convinced myself that this is the lid and it's on but it's not like it just doesn't fit over correctly. And then once I start doing a little bit more research, the lids that go to this are like some type of locking lid and this is not a locking lid. So I put this back. Okay, and I get so excited right here because I find this Andis mounted blow dryer and I didn't know that these were a bolo until two weeks ago and so when I pick it up, I notice that there's like a little crack right here and it's missing the button. If this would have been in better shape, if it would have had that button, these sell for somewhere around $46. This HEPA filter is the half off color, but they only sell for like nine to $12 and some of them have free shipping. So I went ahead and put that back eventually once I look it up. When I tell you guys I'm looking for anything from my childhood, I am not joking. So I started recording and then I looked down right here and I noticed these trash cans. And these are trash cans, I don't know who had them, but somebody had them in my family and I recognize these. These are both Rubbermaid trash cans from, I want to say the late, or it would probably be the early 90s, late 80s, I'm going to assume. But this one, the brown one sells for 22 and then the other color, I believe that one was selling for like 18 So this is $40 in trash cans and they're $1.99 a piece. So I definitely snagged those up. And off to my fourth thrift stop for the day. And the first thing that I find at this store is this pack of crayons. These are only 49 cents and 
They're not brand new, but they're all in pretty good shape. So I'm going to pick those up. And I'm also going to pick up these mechanical pencils from $19.99. I've sold these before for like right around $20. So definitely picking those up and the crayons. And then I, I dig through these. I, I'm always looking for like Lisa Frank pencils or Lisa Frank pens. Usually when I'm digging through this stuff, it's because I'm hoping to find something Lisa Frank. I thought this was pretty cool. It was dated 2001 and it's kind of like a scrapbook, I guess you could say, for going all through middle school, but I didn't pick this up. I left this one behind, but I thought that was pretty cool. So all of these items in this area are going to be like medical supply items. And so I'm checking to see if this says prescription only and it doesn't. So I've gotten in trouble for selling face masks for the sleep apnea machines. And this is a water reservoir for one of those machines. I do pick it up. It's the half off color. So it's only 50 cents. And I'm going to do a little bit more research when I get home to see if I can actually sell that item or not. And this is actually the item that I got in trouble for selling. And I'm looking on the back of these again. It does not say prescription only, but I would not chance selling this on eBay. So this is usually my go-to store when it comes to like baseball mitts, baseball bats, that type of stuff. So I do cut out the video right here and I look all of this stuff up and none of these gloves were worth anything. And then I also check out the bats and none of the bats that they had out were worth anything. Okay, it's 213. I just grabbed some cash out of the ATM and I'm heading to that thrift store that I really don't go to too often. Hopefully they're open. Sometimes they have volunteer issues and so they're not open all the time. So I have an hour before I have to pick my daughter up from her after school thing. So this will probably be my last stop before I pick her up. But after I pick her up, I do want to run to one more store. And once I go to that store, I will have gone to all the thrift stores in my town um, for the day. They're closed. <laughs> it says they'll be reopened Tuesday the 9th. And this is why I don't come out to the store too often. They're only open two days a week. And like I said, they have volunteer issues. So sometimes they're not open at all. And it's on the other side of town for me. So now I head back to my side of town and there is one thrift store that I did not go to. I usually strike out at this store, so I don't go there too often, even though it's right across the street from my Salvation Army. So we're going to head there right now, see what we can find. Maybe it's my lucky day. Okay, so it definitely was not my lucky day but I did find these two mop refills. They were 99 cents a piece, and I'm gonna list mine for 25 plus shipping, but I'm gonna add best offers and just kind of see what happens. I will take 20 for them. Aquarium items can sell for some good money, but unfortunately this was only selling for about $15 and the sell through rate was really low. So I do end up putting that back. And I do walk around the store and I go to the areas that have items that I like to sell. So I go check out the small electronics. I go check out the bedding. I go check out any type of like suitcases and bags. And then I always go look at the shoes, especially at the store because all their shoes are in one area. So they're super easy to look through. But unfortunately, all I ended up buying were those two mop replacements. So I only spent $2.10 at this store. I think if my back was feeling a little bit better today, I probably would have dug through more of these items and I honestly probably would have found more things to purchase today. But again, I wasn't feeling the best and I thrifted from 9.30 in the morning until 2.30 in the afternoon. Okay guys, so I am home and my daughter was so wonderful, carried everything to the basement for me. But I realized I didn't show you guys this bag of Loving Family that I picked up. So 
I'm not too sure what they're worth. I'm going to throw up some comps right here. But basically, that was everything that I picked up today. Um, I'd say it was a pretty good day out thrifting, especially for just staying local. So thank you guys so much for sticking around for another video of mine. I appreciate it so much. This installment of my 1500 mile thrifting road trip will come out in two days. But thank you guys so much. My channel is super brand new and I appreciate all of the people who have subscribed, liked, commented. It's very much appreciated and I will see you guys on my next video in about two days.